think this is the best part. Putting up lights outdoors. And for the final touches, our very own Christmas stuff. Is there such a thing as too much Christmas? Now that we're finished decorating, I think we need to celebrate and treat ourselves with some eggnog. Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the previous vlogs about Halloween and fall. But that season is pretty much over now. Because Christmas is here! We know, we know, it's only November, but we Filipinos really love Christmas. If we were back in the Philippines, Christmas would have started back in September. Because Halloween in the Philippines is not much celebrated, so we go straight to Christmas. But before we begin, I think we have to kickstart our Christmas in style. Google, play Christmas playlist in Spotify. Got it. Here's a Spotify playlist called Christmas Hits. One, two, three. I think something is missing in this Christmas outfit. Merry Christmas! Christmas! Where's our Christmas deckers? It's in this box. This is the reality of staying in a small condo unit. You have to fit everything in one small space. It's in here? Yep. It still works! Most of our Christmas decorations are from last year. We didn't buy much this year. Yeah, and most of this came from the dollar store, which is kind of cheap, but it looks really good still. Which is kind of the essence of Christmas, right? Because you're not really looking for the value of the item, it's about the spirit. Uh, I guess most of our Christmas stuff are for a Christmas tree. Are we going to put up our Christmas tree this year? Hmm. Sadly, I don't think we have the space this year. Because as you guys know, we've been working from home for almost a few months now. And I've pretty much taken the space where the Christmas tree is supposed to go. But we'll make up for it. Here we are. Ah. Ah, that's very nice. I remember that one. That keeps on falling down last year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The Santa house. But this day is gonna end on Sorry, the other side. But you have to go. Yeah. See you next year. Even if it sucks, See you next year, little guy. So bye. I don't remember where we should put this. This is too big for my head. This is not for your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's not for your head. These are for the chairs. They also have their Santa hat. See? Oh. Is there such a thing as too much Christmas? Yay. And we were telling you guys that we only have a few decor from last year. <laughs> This Christmas light we actually got from Walmart last year after Christmas. One big tip for you guys is always check the Christmas stuff after Christmas because they always go on sale. Yay! We have lights! And 
for the final touches, our very own Christmas sock. Well, you know what that means. A small Christmas sock means small Christmas presents. Huh? Like jewelry and diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> we also got this outdoor light, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we got four sets of outdoor lights here. And if you guys didn't know, Max is a marvel on thrifting. We basically got these outdoor lights for $10 each. And these are like the Noma lights, which normally cost about $30 to $40 each. This is the best part, putting up lights outdoors. And also we got the smart plug for the Christmas lights outside. So we could just hook it up with our Google Home and let it be merry. Let's be merry. Good. Yeah. Now that we're finished decorating, I think we need to celebrate and treat ourselves with some eggnog. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I can feel Santa coming. <laughs> I can hear the bells. <laughs> we just wanted to briefly interrupt this video to thank our sponsor for today. Mappyful.com is a website that allows you to design your own custom maps and posters. Whether it be street maps, star maps, zodiac signs, or even your own custom text prints, they can do all of that for you. And also, they provide templates that are easy to use and user-friendly that you can print a professional-looking poster with no experience at all. Mappy Fool also provides free worldwide shipping. And also, if you shop this week, you're going to get 20% off on their Black Friday sale. So we are going to put the details and the link in the description down below if you guys are interested. Or head over to mappyfool.com to check them out. We actually have a confession to make. This eggnog came from Costco. And we may or may not have been buying it since it came out last October. I think this is our fifth box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our fifth carton box. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. With the essence of Christmas, we did something different this year. Max and I always wanted to give back to the community, and over the week, we contributed to a toy drive for the kids. Hi guys, so we're here right now at the trip store, and Matt and I are just formulating our game plan. Right now, we are planning to get toys that is good enough to give to your own kid. Meaning, it's not dirty, it's not broken, something that is really in good condition. And also, we chose Valley Village or a thrift store because instead of like buying new toys from any groceries or stores, we wanted to somehow give the toys from Valley Village a second home. And maybe we can pick up some Christmas stuff that we can use for ourselves. We also made sure that we came prepared, so we brought some sanitizer and some Lysol here. So we can sanitize the things after we buy them. Mm -hmm. It looks like they haven't even removed the Halloween sign. It's still Halloween! Look who I found! Wally! Wally! Alright, I think we should take this one. It's cute. 
Oh, this is actually VTEC. Look at that. Maybe you just need some new batteries. Should we take this one? Yep. What is this? It's a big checkered board. That's nice. This one looks good. What about this bracket? Mmm. Yeah. It just doesn't have the shuttle cock, but it still looks pretty nice. Does this count as a toy? I guess they can play with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange looking spidey. What is it? A soft puppy? It's a puppet! Okay, this one's coming with us. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. It's a minion puzzle. Mm. And a world travel puzzle. They have a wall of small items which are already bagged because these are the ones that you can easily lose. Yes. Hey guys, it's currently Toy Drive Day and it's quite pouring outside. Max is just in the back here making sure that the toys are okay and it's well sanitized before we hand it to them. Yep, I just have my cleaning supplies here, alcohol, tissue. I'm just wiping down the toys and sanitizing before we hand them out. Here are the toys that we are going to be donating today. I made sure everything is clean, sanitized, and ready for their new home. Thank you. Hi. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so What's fun. This? I actually felt really good. Where's Billy? Oh. <laughs> Did you donate Billy? Billy? Billy's right here. Okay. <laughs> So the big catch of donating toys is they give you free donuts, mini donuts, and coffee. That's what we get for being good this year. We're on the nice list. Yay! Thank you. Merry Christmas. Hi. Good, how are you? Amazing. I have that bag for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank day. you. Got the donuts. Donuts. That was such a great experience, right? Being able to give back. Nat and I have been fortunate even with the pandemic. That's why I think it's only right to give back to the community through donations. Yeah, and I think that's the true essence of Christmas, right? So it's not by decorating or it's not by celebrating anything. It's about this time of the year that you try to give back. Mm -hmm. Speaking of decorations, I think our decorations are not complete yet. So we might be buying some decorations here and there throughout the season. And we promise to keep you guys updated along the way. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Let it be merry. Sorry, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Here are other things you can try.